congratulations on winning. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about the part that you played. Uh, it was a play uh, called End of the Pier, written by Danny Robbins, and um, I'd met Danny through uh, a radio play, and he asked me to come and do a reading there. I hadn't, I'd fallen out of love with theatre, I'd really given up on it, and I hadn't done a play for 16 years. And I pretty much swore I wouldn't do one, and then I read this play, and there's only really one scene. And on the back of that scene, I realised I really, really want to do this. And it was a really challenging character uh, that's funny and sad and angry and has to be a convincing stand-up comedian. And I'm not a stand-up comedian. <laughs> Um, so it was, a, it, was a, it was a really challenging piece and I fell in love with the character so I said I had to do it. Did you rediscover your love of theatre then? I did. I felt, you know, it was such a challenging part and, and uh, what, uh, as artists, you know, you're, the, artists thrive the best when they're in the dark, when they don't know what they're doing. And the process of creativity is that you follow your heart in lots of different ways and and you don't know where the answer is you don't quite know but you're f listening to something a voice inside you that keeps steering you and that's your creative intuition and for me this part reignited that creative intuition for me so it was, it was very fulfilling fantastic um at times like these polarizing times like these do you think diversity um, is quite underestimated in the arts, especially, I think I think uh, a, an award ceremony like this, that is um, celebrating the achievements of British Asian artists, you know, um, instead of Bollywood, instead of instead of the Shah Rukh Khans of this world, who are who are who are have achieved great success, but at the same time, the children of the finances for these people are here and struggling artists and and so this is the first time I've seen an award ceremony celebrating that that achievement of British Asians whether they be new or been around a long time like me um, but I still feel new um, it, it, uh, 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 an award ceremony like this reminds me of how how much we've achieved so it does ring loud the diversity the bell but it also it's a, it's a joyous thing to know that I'm part of a bigger artistic community. Often, as a, di as a diverse actor, you feel like you're on your own. You're only ever going up for one part. There's 20 other Asians going up for that part, but they may go Afro-Caribbean with it. And you live with that, but you still keep going and you still keep believing. But it's in events like this where I'm in a room full of really talented, creative people. That's, that's lovely for me. Fantastic. Congratulations again and hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.